Now this is a square shaped haircut, so we want to make sure that we're at this angle, that we're going straight up in the air. We're not rounding it in, because as we said before, if we round it in, this hair is going to be too short and it's going to stick out. So we take an imaginary line straight up in the air, and we keep cutting until we run out of hair. So make sure you keep this picture in your mind, straight up, straight up in the air. Now as we get towards the back, where there's a little bit of a cowlick, now we have to allow for where the crown is and we have to start angling, the, dipping the comb down a little bit. Bend the client's head down and now we start on the bottom and the same thing, we're going to dip a little bit lower to allow for the, uh, the crown or the cowlick area. Now as the head rounds here, it's going to push the heel of the blade away from the head. Let it push the heel of the blade away and just take that, that, that angle very slow and that's going to avoid leaving a weight line. And we keep working on our taper as we work around. Reverse the grip of the clipper, and now work on the blend. It's so much easier than going in with your clipper first and leaving a huge shelf all the way around the head and trying to blend it out. And as we said in the introduction to this haircut, any one small imperfection is going to show on this kind of hair. And then we're going to shave into it, and we're going to leave it alone. And the reason why we're doing it this way is the way the clipper works is the hair is supposed to feed into the stationary blade, and the cutting blade cuts it. So that's why we have to shave in this way. If we turn it around, the hair goes straight to the cutting blade, and you're going to wind up with um, uh, razor burn, razor marks, or small nicks. So now we're going to bend the head down. We're going to shave up and we're going to leave off about a quarter of an inch below where we left off on the shortest setting on our adjustable clipper.